Hi, I'm Michaela. Welcome back. It's foundation week on my channel. Every day I'm releasing a new foundation, five days in a row. These are my top five foundations as requested to review over on my Instagram. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the Surratt Dewdrop Foundation. I'm so excited to share with you all of these foundations. It's one of my favorite tools in my makeup collection when I do makeup as a professional makeup artist. It all starts with foundation, so I wanna review the formula, the texture, the skin type that I think it's for. I want to show you how it goes on. I share with you some tips and tricks that I've learned with these foundations along the way. I hope you enjoy this video and you tune in for all of the reviews that I'm doing. I'll put a link to all the video foundations that I'm doing in the description box below. So now I'm going to show you the Surratt Dewdrop. The packaging for this foundation I find to be very unique. First of all, it's got this really cool pointed tip and this little kind of button on the back. So you press the button and it's going to dispense tiny drops out onto your hand. So it's really clean. I don't feel like I'm ever wasting foundation, which is nice. And I'm going to go ahead and apply four drops to the back of my hand. And this is a liquid makeup. As you can see, it's considered a dewy finish foundation, which is what I'm really excited about because that's one of my favorite types of finishes for foundation in general. I think it makes the skin look really healthy and hydrated. Who doesn't love that? And I am going to apply this with the Surratt foundation brush. This is, you can see I've been using this the last couple days. This is a mix of goat hair and synthetic bristles. Really, really soft. I'll start on this side so you can see. So with this foundation, it is that glowy finish. So I find that whenever I'm applying it, it spreads and smooths across the face really easily. I think the brush helps with that as well. This is shade four. So you can see the four drops on my hand is only gonna do one section of my face. I find that I need anywhere between 12 and 16 drops for my whole face. And I don't do it all at once. The drops are pretty small, so. You know, every brand, the way that they dispense their foundation, it's a different amount. You know, some brands have a really big pump of foundation. Sometimes like I'm like, oh, I only need a half a pump. Or as with this one, I find that it's kind of nice to work in sections and kind of buff it into the skin and then move on. So I start in the center of the face and then I diffuse the foundation on my nose, across my cheeks, and then buffing it into the skin towards the perimeter of the face. This is considered a true light to medium coverage foundation. Because it has that dewy finish, it blends in and kind of sinks into the skin. So I find with this one, it really does look natural on the skin, kind of just your skin, but better. And it comes in 20 shades. I'm number four. You can apply a little bit more and build it if you need to, but it's not going to cover, you know, every single little perfection. You don't feel like you're masking your skin. It's just there to kind of buff and even out your skin tone, even out your, you know, any imperfections or any redness like I have in my skin. I'm going to bring this down the neck just a little bit. Bring you in a little bit closer so that you can see this foundation on the skin. I really like this foundation. It's, it's one of my favorites this week that I'm testing out. And a couple notes that I wanted to share. I have been using this foundation for almost a month now, playing around with it, testing it out on different days. And this pump here, I've noticed about halfway, after using it after probably like five days, I noticed that it wasn't pumping the drops as quickly as when I first started using it. And I think it I think it needs to have a little bit more air. So just a little note, if you have this at home, I think that you need to be pressing, at least I'm gonna try this out. We can share tips if anyone has this at home. I think you need to slowly press the button and kind of slow release the button. Um, because I, in the beginning, I was just kind of going like this and I noticed um, that the drops now aren't coming out as fast. Just a little side note tip. So that's it. I went ahead and popped on a little bit of my sort of everyday go-to glowing makeup. And if it seemed like applying that foundation was 
quick and easy, that's because it was. I found that anything in the morning that's gonna make it easy and fast, it's gonna make my skin look much more even and natural. I am all about it. Um, I find that with full coverage foundations, depending on the formula, they can require just more attention and more time to apply, make sure you're blending it out because it's heavier on the skin. Something that's a light to medium coverage like this foundation, I love seeing how easy it goes on, quick, done, out the door, and I really, really enjoyed using this foundation. It's gonna be one I think that sticks with me, sticks in my personal makeup kit. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions about the Surratt foundation, leave it in the comment section below. I am releasing videos all week long, reviewing my top five foundations as requested over on Instagram. So I hope you stick around, watch the whole series. I will put the programming and all the links to the videos below, and I'll see you soon.